fast, maneuverable, and deadly. Motor Gunboat 81, a seaborne shooting platform that helped make D-Day a success. It was one of hundreds of vessels that transported and protected the 160,000 troops who landed on June the 6th, 1944. Facing fierce German resistance, the gunboats helped keep shipping lanes open and draw fire as the Allies secured the French beaches. MGV-81 was one of around 20 gunboats that took part in the D-Day landings. It then stayed on another three weeks, attacking German E-boats and German aircraft, which is why all those involved in this project say it's absolutely vital that it takes part in the 70th anniversary commemorations. But MGB-81, the last of its kind, may not make the 70th anniversary of D-Day because its engines are not up to a channel crossing. Skipper Richard Hellier says without a complete overhaul of all three, the trip won't be possible. This is probably the last opportunity that we'll have to have the uh, remainder of those who survived those days with us. And we are desperately hoping that we will have some of the veterans on board the boat, particularly when we get over to France, because uh, a lot of them are going there for the occasion. This is very much a race against time. It's a race against time, absolutely. At least £100,000 is needed to get the engines ready in time. The team had hoped BAE would help out, but with its programme of job cuts, that's now unlikely, putting the whole trip in jeopardy. We owe it to the people who lost their lives there, the ones who supported them, and the people who were actually there. It means an awful lot to them. It's a very evocative boat. Ironically, the boat's engines are German. Whatever their source, they need extensive, expensive work if MGB 81 is to replay its role in history. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, in Portsmouth.